okay being old black folks and everything's fine and basically I got a little bit of a video of a guy that's got a uh, hold of the uh, he got a hold of the uh, rocket that got fired down there in Florida and basically that's what that looks like so basically uh, the space race is on major league ladies and gentlemen because basically it's a land rush up there that basically all countries have gotten along and is like if you know that basically Bino showed you that the BS about a certain satellite didn't go up in the air and splash down the Pacific Ocean. It's pretty much 100%, 1,000%. That it is 300 miles up and it is orbiting Earth. And there's a lot of people who don't like about that. Uh, basically, that's why Bino had a little bit of computer problems. And I want to say hi to all my enemies and everybody and all my friends at anything to do with any military branch in the United States of America and all retired vets. I want to say a big old hi. And you know I love you. And everybody's a human being, so be careful who you're mad at because Bino is filthy flippin' rich. And I think a lot of people, and I want to say hi to all my two-wheeled friends and enemies out there in the world and the United States of America. And the world is very layered, and as we see this, the guy had a hard time trying to hold on to his camera and stuff like that, keep a good eye on it, but... Uh, Basically, there's so much money to be made in the space race that that's why you're seeing that this, oh, this is private, that's private, this is private. Remember, those contractors that did, did all the work for the U.S. government and still do these days, they're, made, they're private companies and corporations, and they make a killing, too. Okay, So another private contractor is shooting stuff into space. Okay, So here's some photo stills of it. And then we'll go up and take a look at space, what's going on. And this is getting a little bit boring right here, so let's go ahead and jump away from this. And... Uh, Basically, I know the PSYOPs in the black box has me in a little box because basically I know I'm pretty much talking to just military and very wealthy people and entrepreneurs. And, uh, okay, quickly here, basically is Mercury and Venus, and we're going to go take see what we're going to be seeing for angles. And remember A and B, ahead and B. And I pretty much think I'm going to be at core behind. And it'll, one will be a zoom-in shot, one will be away. And you'll see how Mercury and Venus seem way back because you have to remember where these satellites are at and there and where Earth's situated. How you would be looking from Earth to look at it. What you're seeing is Venus and Mercury that we're going to see in this shot. So basically, here we are, folks, and there you go. So as you see, we are shooting from behind, and I will show you also that. Remember, the illumination makes Venus and Mercury seem so huge, okay? It's not that they're anything close to that size. It's all the light that it gets emitted from their atmospheres that we always keep getting told by NASA that there's nothing there, that we can't inhabit this, that, whatever. Okay, now we do know that we've pretty much showed you in here that basically you don't want to send any of your friends to Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, and so forth and so on because basically Earth is the only one that basically is safe. Now I'll see if i got a map, but you can also see this planet back over here, which you're going to see on these shots here. Okay, and this is current. Uh, bam, up there. There you go. Okay. Now remember, this is all from a shot from behind the sun here. Okay, hang on a second. Now remember, when we're zoomed in here, and I'll zoom back out, that basically, uh, let's pop down here and get us to like 200. Remember that we are only a speck, a pixel in this shot. Okay, Earth would only be a, the size of a pixel, and I mean just a tiny, tiny pixel. So all this stuff here is huge. A lot of this stuff might even be bigger than Jupiter. Number one thing is, is remember we have... What I said before that we have like it's M50 through 59 or whatever the heck that's supposed to be up here to the right. Okay, now this is another remnant here that's showing up there on that shot. So we'll zoom in on that custom shot. Hang on. So basically, you know that we're zooming in on this. Remember, this is already a zoomed in shot from what we just looked at on the other, I think on the Lasco 3. Okay, and it's all from behind. Okay. Now, this is the factuality of all the planets that are out there that they don't even tell you about. That they're still trying to figure it out. Because check out how close this planet is to the sun. Okay, And then you can also see a planet down over there, a big old shadow of a huge. Because this here, more than likely, could be something between the size of you know anything larger than something smaller than Jupiter. Because it takes at least 11 Jupiters, 10 point something that would make the size of the sun. Okay, so you know that this is hella bigger than Earth or anything else between us and Jupiter, okay, in size. And that is right there, a remnant around the sun or material, all these planets and all these are too, how huge these things are that are basically, let me pop back out so you realize that what we're looking at, okay. We'll pop back to the 400 and there you go, there's a shot of the sun, we're out Lasco and that's where we were at, okay. So here we go and we'll pop out a little bit more, we'll go to 200 and remember this is all from behind. 
Okay, and then we'll go to three again. I'll go to three again, and you'll realize that we zoom back out. So remember your angles and your positions, and then we'll have Venus and Mercury and see how large they look. Okay, now remember this is another one of our known eight planets that we know of in the Milky Way, but more than likely, they still really don't know how many planets we have in just the Milky Way galaxy alone. Now Hubble can look out way the hell out there, and that's why everybody's starting to realize, well, just, just even our Milky Way galaxy, and then we get all the way up to quantum, like seven trillion times the size of just the Milky Way galaxy out there, ladies and gentlemen. So space is the final frontier, and we've always known that. I mean, duh, 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 okay? But now it's basically just to get us up orbiting around, let everybody waste money on orbiting around the Earth, when basically what you want to do is go out and get some free real estate, because basically you could probably get out and inhabit a flipping planet, ladies and gentlemen, and forget Martians, okay? If there is anything up there that would... They would be scared of the seeing the 18,000 satellites that are circling the Earth, and also if there is something out there that would be, yes, identical to us, humanoids for crying out loud. And yes, there's plenty of history on the moon that Bino is still holding tight and basically waiting to see NASA tell some lies, and they're not going to because they don't want to show you what's going on with those satellites that are hooked up there looking at the moon. Okay, so there's tons of stuff out there, and Bino Black ain't going anywhere folks, because Beano Black has intangible wealth up the yin-yang, okay? Basically, let's put it this way. If I was from Saudi Arabia, which I'm absolutely not, born in America, yeah, you could just about imagine. You see what I'm saying? So anyway, Beano is a big flipping prick.